Right, so this Boss RT10R has put me in such a bad mood. If you haven't already, check out my review here where I told you what the pedal could do and what it couldn't do. But in that video, I promised to show you a tutorial on how to set up some of the MIDI settings. So that's what I was gonna try and do in this video today. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will be aware I have a video using this Nectar Pacer MIDI foot controller and we MIDI mapped a load of commands on the Boss RC505 so we could control it with our feet. Now that, that got over like 1.5K views. Yeah, I'm like semi YouTube famous. So if you haven't seen it, check it out over here. Now I thought I'd do something similar for the Boss RC10R, but then Boss had a totally different idea and thought, no Ben, that video is just not gonna happen. So currently, at this moment in time, none of the MIDI is working on my Boss RC10R. So I bought the correct cable, which is a mini MIDI jack to a standard five pin traditional MIDI jack because Boss decided to change the inputs and outputs, you know, just to definitely cause some compatibility issues. So I'm going to plug this into the MIDI out of my foot controller and then plug this into the MIDI in of the RC10R. Now I'm going to show you how you set up the MIDI foot controller with the Boss RC10R and this process should work but hopefully when Boss update the firmware for it to actually work correctly. So this video will be relevant when Boss finally do that, but I'm just gonna show you it now. So if we look at the Nectar Pacer, I'll show you what MIDI number I have mapped. So we're gonna click this button in, we're on foot switch one, and we're gonna scroll over till we get to CC. Now you can see I've mapped MIDI CC number one, right, dead simple, and I'm just gonna exit out and leave that. Now this is running on MIDI channel one as well. And I've set everything just to be clear on the Boss RC10R to the correct MIDI channels as this. So I'm not a total idiot when it comes to MIDI. I, I have some experience, so trust me on this one. So I wanna map a rhythm track start, you know, so we don't need to record anything into the loop pedal. Currently it's set to off, so I'm gonna set the CC to CC1 so it matches this foot switch on this Nectar Pacer. Now we'll exit out and it should save because we're on the same bank. Now I'm gonna click this foot switch and this should start playing, but nothing happens. Absolutely nothing, I, I click it a million times and nothing happens on the Boss RC10R. Now you could say, Ben, it's your cable, maybe you've got a bad cable, but this is a highly rated cable on Amazon. I think it's got four stars. It's kind of the best you're gonna get. But even if it is the cable, with this being a new introduction by Boss and Roland, they should provide you with a converter cable so I can use a dead reliable normal MIDI cable into the converter and then into the pedal. So it's 100% gonna work. So just to show you the process in a little bit more detail, in case Boss do fix this and you come across this tutorial, basically I'm gonna use this Nectar Pacer foot remote. This is one of the best MIDI foot controllers I have ever owned. I primarily use it with my Boss RC505 and I'll provide some links down below over to Amazon for you to check out. But it's got great customization. Basically, you can change the color of all of these lights to pretty much whatever you want. It's got full RGB spectrum. So currently these are set to turn red when I click them in. I've got this one set to purple. You can also set them to green, blue, literally whatever you want. So as I mentioned earlier, this foot switch is set to MIDI CC number one. Now I've set these other ones to two, three, four, and five. And if we try and map them again in here, currently they're not gonna work with the current firmware and whatever this boss pedal's doing. But I'll show you an example of how you do it. So if we head into the menu setting, we're then gonna scroll over to the right until we see MIDI. We're then gonna click this button in, and then we have all of our channel options that we can select, but we're gonna keep on scrolling until we get to these rhythm start CC options. So we have up to 18 custom assigns. We can do all sorts of rhythm controls, loop stop starts for track one and two. So let's just do a track one start. So here we have our MIDI CC, we can choose 
by default, it will say maybe off. So we want it to be MIDI CC2, and we can assign that to foot switch number two on our Nectar Pacer. Then all you have to do is after you've assigned everything you want, you then just exit out of this menu, come back to here, you hold in the menu and exit button at the same time, comes up with right, you click that in, click which patch you want to save it to, all the way up to number 99, I'm going to click number one, and then that saves it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. This channel's all about live looping, upload live looping tutorials, live looping performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rowland, you can find me online at benrowlandsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.